Welcome to the Ecliptic Spiritualist channel. I wanted to get into some information with you about the Virgo season that is coming up. And I wanted to share about the Virgo season that is right upon us, August the 23rd, before the full moon kicks in. Pretty much our last full moon that is coming in with our summer energy. But I wanted to give you some information about Virgo, how we're leaving out of Leo, and how does it apply into your life? Well, one of the things is that we're going to be, Virgo is going to take us into our equinox, our fall equinox in September. Okay, so in saying that, one of the things you want to take time while we're getting into Virgo energy is have you taken some time to look over the journey that you've been on from the summer solace starting in June to now we're at this ending part of August and then taking us into September with Virgo. Look over your journey. What do you see? How can it make a difference? And how has it made a difference? And where have you landed as of now? So that is us taking a personal evaluation of our lives over the three months, seeing what has transpired in your life and what is the next step as we go into Virgo season that's a little bit more earthy versus all of the different rumbles that's been going on throughout pretty much May with eclipses to now Leo, fire energy, cancer, a lot of water, Gemini, communication, different things that's been unveiled through this 2021 summer and a complete difference from 2020. So what about this Virgo season, Renita, Ecliptic Spiritualist? Why am I apt to share about this? Well, after this fiery, bold, um, courageous energy of Leo season, Virgo is offering us a different um, energy of, of grounded pace. Um, if you didn't know, Virgo represents the Virgin, when, uh, which symbolizes independence, inner strength, and the knowing that we are made of source energy, the same energy that makes up everything in the universe, the creator of all things, which is female, feminine, and masculine, we can relate to the creator, or if that's the way you go about it, I talk about the creator as two feminine male, yin and yang, balanced energy. But ultimately, the source is the creator, the source. And then the source is giving us resources within the earth. Okay? So in this way, virgin symbolizes wholeness and our neck to true state of being. Being is always pretty much related to being whole, a human shell. Um, so that's what we're looking at as a virgin. The Virgo is a resourceful sign. It gives lion making the best out of everything. Virgo can make the best out of everything. So what is that saying to us to make the best out of everything? Looking at things from a perspective of, I have the best already, no matter what things look like from a visual standpoint of my two eyes, but in my eye to the soul, I have everything and I am resourceful. And this is what Virgo is coming to tell you. So with this independent energy of inner strength, it's going to teach us that not only can we fill our own cup, but we can also find practical ways to ensure that it never runs dry. And one of my quotes over myself is, my cup always overflows, always overflows. And you can add that to your mantra. So as we're taking out of this fiery, confident, boosting energy we have sourced from Leo, we're going to integrate it into more of a deeper level using its fuel of confidence and boosting to self-care, boosting our productivity, finding our independence, and knowing that Everything we need is always where? Within. Is always located where? Within us. Because we were born from the source of love and life. 
and breathe within us and we are born with everything that is within us, that we can do all things that has been brought within us because we brought the tools from the source and we used the resources within this earth. Now with Virgo season in this 2021, it's going to be fairly quiet one. Its energy seems to be a little more gentle guide as we reach the half point of the astrological year, which marks our September equinox. Okay, um, now let me give you a few little um, points that we're going to hit for the rest of this month. <clears throat> now we're going to go into a season of organization and clearing our clutter. If you haven't already felt that with the turn of the wheel a few weeks ago and with the new moon a few weeks ago that was in Leo that gave us that boost of decluttering already and creating a healthy relationship of independence. But August the 23rd, Venus trans uh, Saturn, which this is going to be a subtle energy, but it includes a very extra nice energy. It's going to deal with money and Saturn is going to give us a lot of stabilization and steady success that's going to come through for finances and calling in abundance. And this energy is going to be so favorable recreating, with creating profits. So you definitely want to be working that energy. Also a very great work balance too. In August, around August the 29th, Mercury is going to be in Libra. And so Mercury with ruling the planet of Virgo, and we're going to be entering this Virgo season, is going to move into Libra. And Libra Mercury is going to allow us to communicate in a way that is considerate, fair, and diplomatic. And it's also going to inspire us to change up our aesthetics of our space and our wardrobe. So you're going to see this wobbliness that's going to come in with the moon wobbling as well, keep having us to create some instant it's a little bit of instability in a weather pattern. So we're going to see some changes in our weather pattern, but we're going to also see some aesthetic changes that you'll be making subtly to change your space and your wardrobe preparing for the fall. Around September the 6th is our new moon in Virgo. So the new moon is going to have a mix of energy in September. And we're going to find ourselves energized, spont spontaneity, spontaneous with ready to try some new things and also Mars and Uranus is going to be active as well so we're going to have a deeper energy of retreat and working on some old wounds some shadow work side all right September the 10th is Venus and Scorpio it's going to give us that watery energy and we may find ourselves around this the 10th of September I'm feeling extra sensitive and tuned into our emotions. So Venus and Scorpio can also offer energy that makes us easier um, to connect with our central desire and sexual side. Around September the 14th, Mars and Libra is going to give us a key theme of energy, um, also heaviness and structure, but structure and finding that balance all at the same time. So that's going to uh, take us over where we're going to be structural and working with the details of Virgo. September the 20th, we have the full moon in Pisces. Um, also September the 22nd through the 23rd, we have our sun entering Libra equinox. So Virgo season comes to an end around the 23rd of September, and we're going to experience our equinox from equal night and day. So our timing, the day is going to be 12-12, pretty much. 24 hours, you're going to see 12 hours of night, 12 hours a day. And the day before the equinox is a powerful time when the energy grid of the earth moves into harmony. And we can connect with the healing power of nature with a greater energy of ease. So you want to be sure you take some time of soaking up this powerful uh, equinox, which is going to be great quality between the 21st and the 22nd, depending on your time zone. And this is a great time to also 
pay attention to doing ritual work, spell work, balancing, cleansing, uh, maybe doing some meditation that takes you into astral travel and much more leading into the end of September or the equinox time between 22nd and 23rd. So in saying that, look over this, inform listen to this information, uh, you can close caption it, write down how it's going to apply to your life in September and giving you a little quick snapshot of what's to come ahead so that way get you prepared with Virgo and this nice grounded confidence, confident boosting energy that will allow us to take us through into autumn if you're in the northern hemisphere and if you're in the southern, southern hemisphere, check your area of the season that you will be coming into. I love you for watching today. Don't forget to dig deep and trust in yourself always and grow with us. Contact me for psychic therapeutic um, sessions, psychic therapeutic readings with me, ritual work, altar visuals, master classes in the magical arts. Check our website at https double colon slash slash ecliptic spiritualist 7.com. Get ready for this wonderful. Virgo energy that will take us into a lot of different season from this summer moving into the next season, guiding us into fall. Love you for watching. Bye-bye.